Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting question from radical equations. We have to solve here a square root 2 minus x over a square root x minus 6 times x minus 12 equal to x over 9. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing conditions on x for solution to be real. So I'll be writing first condition, which I can write from LHS numerator this 2 minus x should be greater than 0. Second condition from the denominator of LHS, I can write x minus 6 times x minus 12. This product should be positive, greater than 0. Third condition which I can write from RHS, x should be greater than 0. Now if I will conclude condition number 1, then it will give us x should be less than 2. From condition number 2, x should be less than 6 and x should be greater than 12. From condition number 3, we can write x greater than 0 or positive. Now we have to consider the intersection of all the three conditions. So it will give us x should lie in the interval 0 to 2. Now our answer should be in the interval 0 to 2. Now I will consider our original equation and I will consider squaring both sides. So I can write 2 minus x divided by x minus 6 times x minus 12. This is equal to x square over 9 square is 81. Now I can cross multiply. See x cannot be 6, cannot be 12 as we are looking for real solution. So x will lie in the interval 0 to 2. Let's cross multiply. So I will be writing here x square times x minus 6 times x minus 12 equal to 81 times 2 minus x. Now I will expand. So I can write x square times x square 12x 6x so minus 18x plus 72 equal to 162 minus 81x. Now I can write x power 4 minus 18x cube plus 72x square minus or plus 81x minus 162 equal to 0. Now if I will observe minus 18x. So half of that is 9. A square of that is 81. So I will split this x power 4 minus 18x cube plus 81x square. And then I have to write here minus 9x square. So in total it will be 72x square plus 81x minus 162 equal to 0. Now from first three terms I can write this is one perfect square x square minus 9x whole square. You can check x square whole square x power 4 9x whole square 81x square and twice a b term will give us minus 18x cube. Now I will take minus 9 common. So in bracket x square and then minus 9x then minus 162 as it is equal to 0. Now this is quadratic equation in x square minus 9x. So I will apply quadratic formula. Let me write here x square minus 9x whole square minus 9 x square minus 9x 
and then minus 162 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula as this is quadratic equation in 9 x square minus 9x equal to let me write minus b so minus of minus 9 plus 9 plus minus under the root b square so minus 9 is square 81 minus 4ac let me write 4 1 and c is minus 162 divided by 2a so 2 9 plus minus square root 81 and this product will be 648 divided by 2. Further I can write 9 plus minus this is 729 divided by 2 square root 729 is 27 divided by 2. With plus sign I can write 36 over 2. With minus sign I can write minus 18 over 2. So we can write x square minus 9x. This will become 18 and minus 9. Now we will frame two quadratic equation. x square minus 9x equal to 18 and negative 9. So let us frame one by one x square minus 9x minus 18 equal to 0. And second quadratic will be x square minus 9x plus 9 equal to 0. Let's solve both the equations one by one. So I will write quadratic formula here. So it will be minus b. So minus of minus 9, 9 plus minus a square root b square so 81 minus 4ac so plus 72 divided by 2a so 2. Now 9 plus minus this is square root 153 divided by 2. 17 times 9 is 153 so I can write 9 plus minus 3 root 17 divided by 2. So x can be written as if I will take 3 common from the numerator. So it will become 3 plus minus root 17. This is our x. Two real solutions. We will cross check which one we will accept which one we will reject. Let us solve this second quadratic equation. I will write x square minus 9x plus 9 equal to 0. x will be equal to minus b. So 9 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. 9 plus minus this value will become 45 which is 9 times 5. So I can write 9 plus minus. 3 root 5 over 2. Now I can write x is equal to 3 common in the numerator. So 3 plus minus root 5. So we have calculated another two real values of x. Now we will accept those solutions which lies in the interval 0 to 2. So let me write all four values. So I will write x is equal to 3 by 2 in bracket 3 plus minus root 17. This is 3. And other two 3 by 2 in bracket 3 plus minus root 5. Now I will reject this minus solution as root 17 is greater than 3. So this will be rejected as it is negative. So I can write x is equal to accepted solution 3 by 2 in bracket 3 plus only root 17 and the remaining two 3 by 2 3 plus root 5 last one 3 by 2 3 minus root 5. Let's check the value 3 plus root 17. So if I will 
calculate the approximate value, then this value is somewhere around 10.5. Second one, 3 by 2, 3 plus root 5. Approximate value is 7.84. Third value, its approximate value is 1.15 or 14. Now you can see. Answer should lie in the interval 0 to 2. straight away this will be rejected as it is not lying in the interval 0 to 2. This one will be rejected as it is 7.84. Only this solution will be accepted one. So our final and only real solution for this radical challenge it will be 3 over 2. 3 minus root 5. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.